Hello, this is a virtual microscopy slide of the lung showing a lung abscess. And on the right, we have the relatively normal lung parenchyma, which tends to have this spongy appearance because of the air spaces. And we can see that the alveolar septae are very, very thin. Now let's move to the abnormal area. And there are some uh, lymphoid aggregates around, but the main area of abnormality is here. We can see that there is a pinkish area with a slightly uh, more blue surrounding cuff. And I'm going to just zoom in. So looking at this pinkish area, we can see that there are numerous neutrophils and we can recognize these by their multi-lobed nuclei. There is also some uh, granular necrotic cellular debris, for example, here. We don't actually see any bacterial organisms here, but these may sometimes also be visible. So we have acute separative inflammation with necrotic debris, lots of neutrophils. And at the bluer edges, we still see a combination of neutrophils, um, but at the same time, there are some chronic inflammatory cells in this instance here, many, many plasma cells coming in and also some macrophages. So this abscess has been around for some time. Another feature that may be seen, uh, particularly in the periphery of an abscess, is the presence of granulation tissue. So at this uh, magnification, um, we can see that there are some of these small blood vessels. So these are immature blood vessels and they are quite leaky. And this is granulation tissue. It's part of the healing process as well from inflammation. An abscess is essentially a localized area of separative inflammation, so we expect to see the components of separative inflammation, namely necrotic debris, lots of neutrophils, and sometimes the causative agent, uh, which is very often bacterial organisms. Let me show you another example. Here is another example of an abscess, and this is the lung parenchyma. In this instance, there is a lot of consolidation around the abscess cavity. Um, if I zoom into the lung parenchyma here, we see there's a lot of fluid, uh, a lot of exudate within the air spaces, and also lots of macrophages. Moving back to the area of the abscess, we see that it's mostly an empty cavity where the contents have fallen out. But if we zoom in, we can actually see that there are lots and lots of bacterial organisms forming these clumps within the abscess itself. So it really depends on the timeline or the age of the abscess. Sometimes abscesses that have been around for a while may actually have a rim of uh, fibroblasts or fibrous tissue around them. So in summary, an abscess is a localized area of suppurative inflammation and typically these are seen as cavities which contain neutrophils, necrotic cellular debris and sometimes the causative organisms as well which are often bacterial organisms. Thank you.